Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Marcus on Snowboarding and today we're covering the top 8 essentials you need on the mountain for your GoPro to capture the best footage. First up is the chest harness. Now this thing is an absolute, uh, is an absolute beauty for downhill skiing and just skiing in general. I mean, getting that POV from the chest is absolutely great uh, for montages and whatnot. However, there are a lot of common mistakes people make when using uh, the chest harness. A lot of the time, people just put the chest harness on wrong. They leave it, uh, what's the word, tangled, and it kind of can ruin your footage. And now, it may not seem big, but what happens is that with the tangles and everything, if it's not adjusted properly and streamed and straight, you're not going to have the most stable footage like this. You can actually hear the, uh, the buckle uh, between the GoPro and the, the chest mount actually flapping and hitting each other. Now this produces like the worst noise you can ever get in terms of footage because you don't, no one wants to actually listen to the banging of a chest mount against the J buckle. Now the way to do this to get rid of it is really simple. Take it simply and you just put it on normally. Like, without, if you have to untangle it, you have to give it a few minutes, then it's worth it, trust me. Because the last thing you want is footage that is crap at the end of the day. And next, we move on to um, a favorite of mine it's a pole. It's a, it's a selfie stick or a pole, as you guys would call it. It's fantastic. I mean, I like to use the UK Pro 38 inches. It's fantastic in terms of length. I mean, this one's great. You can use the GoPro uh, pole as well, the three-way, and then you also have the UK. Uh, you have the Go Pole one, which is the white one. Usually, most people get. I highly recommend this to new GoPro buyers. Reason being is because of the grip. Because with all the other ones, what you have is just a grip that just slides up and down. That means if you if you hit a if you hit a mogul or if you trip over or whatever on the slopes you are more, you're more likely to drop it. Whereas with the UK Pro, because of its bicycle handle sort of mount, it means that you know, your hand won't slip up like it does with a normal uh, GoPro pole. And also, if you're on the mountain and you don't want to carry a bag for all your stuff, you can actually clip up your chest harness. Anyway, it's tucked in between the straps, which is great, but you can do the same thing with um, any other pole, really. But I believe the UK Pro better. The UK Pro uh, pole is better at it. Reason being is because of the bicycle handle handle mount sort of thing. It means it doesn't slip as much. Um, yes, it kind of digs into your back. Uh, but if you're wearing a ski jacket and three or four layers underneath, you don't really notice. Uh, next up on the list is something really, really simple. The essential stuff, which is helmet mounts. I mean, they're great. Um, helmet mounts can be put really anywhere in your helmet if you really want. Um, but the two great places to put your helmet mounts are obviously on front. Some people can put it on the top as well. I mean, I prefer the front. Some people don't. I actually think it's a great goggle blocker slash holder if you just want to look up for a moment. And there's also side mounts as well. You can put it on the side of the helmet, which is fantastic. These side mounts, are great, but you have to be mindful where you actually put them. Uh, what happens, or well, what I've done here is, as you can see, I put it on the place where the goggles go, where the strap would go over and around. Now, it's not the worst thing in the world if you do it, but I would keep in mind um, that if you're adding, um, you know, helmet mounts, especially a side mount, that you actually put it further up or even further forward. Uh, that way, when you're putting your goggles back up and down constantly, if you just want to check or just go around and whatnot, um, you don't actually have to worry about the strap hitting the side mount. If you place it further up, it's fantastic. Anyway, between the front and the side, some people like to add the back I've seen. If you're really into that sort of thing, that's fantastic. Uh, next up, we have small essential things. The difference between your day being great or crap. Some really simple stuff on the mountain that you need. Extra battery. If you're going into the cold, um, minus 18 degrees Celsius, or even under, really under minus five, you're going to need an extra battery on the day if you're shooting a lot. 
kind of a no-brainer really. The worst thing you want is to be able to take that sweet, awesome shot and then hear the beep beep beep, the triple beep, meaning that your camera, or the GoPro in this case, is turning itself off and it's run out of battery. Easy cure for this is a spare battery. This thing is a lifesaver in general. Keep in mind when you have your spare spare battery, it's best to put it somewhere warm close to your chest or in an inside pocket. Next up on the small items is something really simple. It's a GoPro wrench, really simple. It allows you to screw um, and tighten or untighten the GoPro bolt really easily using your gloves. It makes life a lot more easier rather than just trying to uh, unscrew, the, uh, unscrew it using your bulky gloves. Tripods. Now, tripods I can see are great for time lapses. They're fantastic if you have the time, I mean if you're willing to put the effort in and just plant it there and ski past it or let things develop around it, they're actually pretty good. However, I'm not a big fan of them if you're downhill skiing. If you're backcountry skiing, they're an absolute must if you want to capture some great uh, time lapses. Okay, then we have the microfiber towel. Um, really simple, actually. Um, probably one of the best things you can bring on the mountain that I see a lot of people overlook. Because, you know, what happens is that your GoPro, if it gets wet, or if you get powder on it, if you get snow on it, um, a lot of people just tend to wipe it away with their gloves, just, you know, like that. Don't, because it leaves streaks, and when they dry it inevitably in the sun, it'll leave streaks on the front. I mean, you can wash it off and it's relatively easy, but I um, highly recommend a, bringing a microfiber towel or whatever just to wipe away that extra moisture or the snow or whatever to make sure your lens is clean. Next up, we finally we have the most important thing in the mountain which is anti-fog strips. Now anti-fog strips are essential if you want to capture clean, clean, crisp footage. You use two of these in your GoPro and it works. Now I've tried using one of these in a GoPro and it doesn't work out so well. You need to have two of these in your GoPro casing. It's kind of the difference between having uh, usable footage and unusable footage like you see now. Yeah, so those are my top eight essentials. In summary of this video, there's quite a bunch of stuff you need to bring. You need to bring chest mount, really simple. Great for the POV, which is what GoPro is designed and loves to do. Um, you have your pole of some kind or whatever. Great for the arm length shots or getting groups of mates or whatever. Uh, then you have uh, sunglasses or like a microfiber cloth or a towel of some kind to wipe down um, your lens. And then you have tripods. I mean, they're great for time lapses. They're fantastic in that. Um, a must for backcountry. Not so much for downhill, but up to you and you know at the end of the day. Uh, then you have a spare battery which is an absolute essential. Last thing you want is your camera to run out of juice. Uh, then you have a GoPro wrench of some kind to tighten and untighten your bolts make, um, while you're in gloves or whatever. It just makes it easy across the board. And then you have anti-fog strips which are an absolute fantastic investment for clean crisp footage. Last but not least you have your uh, helmet mounts of some kind and yeah those are just the basic essentials you need to get some good footage on the mountain um check out some of my other videos if you want like and subscribe and uh until next time have a good one